Hello folks, my name is Eric Mervicini. I'm from Destination Xterra. A lot of people from the United States, people that never heard from me, uh, and also my videos right now, a lot of them are in French, since I'm based in Quebec. Uh, I promise you Destination Xterra will be a bilingual video media. It will be a, some French, some English, depending on the time. Yes, you will hear from my accent that I'm a Frenchie from Quebec. So it's obvious for me to do it in French, but I will do some in English, I promise you. From the bottom of my heart, I would like to thank you. It will be about hunting, fishing, ATV, UTV, rifles, what we use for fishing, what we use for hunting. I'm also based as an independent person. So if I like it, yes, you will hear about it. If something I dislike, you will also hear about it. Not to disgrace anybody. Sometimes we like it, me, I like it. Your neighbor don't like it. So we will do something to try to please a bit everybody. Also today, I will show you my first thing in English, my first video. In Quebec here, you have to know the gun laws are very strict. Uh, it's not like in the States, there's no uh, concealed carry, uh, open carry, this not, doesn't exist. You need to have a lot of papers, you need to be a member, and your handgun has to be uh, from your house to the range that's it that's all it's only pleasure so guns in quebec are very complicated to get i will show you also what i got it's fn uh, the reason why i went with fn is totally personal so i'll show you today the fn so i will unbox for you the fns nine millimeter the reason i chose nine millimeter it's not to be personal defense or something it's just to shoot at target practice when you open it you see a nice box like this, flashy blue. The reason why I went with FNS, it has nothing to do personal against the other one. Just in my hand, I liked it. And you go to the range, a lot of people have other kinds, a Glock or other thing, it's very popular, it's very great. But personally for me, in my hands, I liked it a lot more. And it was a bit thinner and everything. When, when you open it, I won't lie to you, this gun I shot about 150 shots with it because I want to show you once, once we dismount where to oil, what to look for. When you open it, this is the proof they say that they at least shot once with it, they send you around, empty round. When you open it, you have the lock, they send you a lock and they sent you a few books here to read. It comes with three mags, you cannot see very well. So like I said, the lock, the box, the round. It comes with three mags. You will see in Canada, we are locked at 10. It's the law. I will prove to you it's empty right now. Clear. So this is the FN. It comes with two back straps. I change it. This one is a recurved one. For me personally, in my hand, I fit more the straight one. It's a choice, it's very easy. You enter a pin here, a small little pin, on, on, on slide, and you put the new one in, very easy. One of the reason, most of guns also, more and more, they are ambidex. I'm a lefty. This one, very thin, the magazine slider, release both sides. Once you put, once you want to unlock, you have it on both sides. Personally though, when there's no bullet in it, it's a bit harder to remove. You have to help it out. It's much easier with bullets. The slide release, there's one on one side, but it doesn't change. It doesn't need to be ambidex. Everything is very thin and recessed. You don't, you don't really get it nowhere. Everything is very access. You have the three dots, most common. To be deadly honest, all striker fire, they all look alike. They're all good, nothing bad to say. It's a personal choice. I like this one because not a lot of people have it here. So that's one of the reasons. I'm gonna show you to unslide it. Remove the slide. The gun is empty. Gun's empty. You pull it back. You pull the slide down. You let it go. And you see the frame is not aligned anymore. You need to pull it back a little, pull the trigger, and it's out. Two piece. Inside, you have the little spring here. This one has a bit of retention. Pull it out. 
and you got your barrel. The reason I wait also to have 150 shot, it was to show you the rubs. You see a little bit, rubs here, rubs in the back, in the, slot in the back here, it rubs here, it rubs in the back. Obviously, only 150 shots. But the rubs is the point where you only put oil. You don't need to dampen in oil or anything. Just where it rubs. With time a bit, you'll see a rub inside. You probably won't see it. But the thing is, you don't need to put a lot of oil. What's fun about this, even if it's polymer, with lots of wear and tear, you can change the steel here. Piece. Put it back very easy again. This, this, the spring is a little bit with a bit of torque, so you need to put a bit of strength to put it back, but that's it. You align, you align here, and close. You pull the arm back, let it go, and it's back in. It's only the second or third time I do this, not complicated very easy access the grip very nice grip also it's firm in your hand you feel it very nice gun in canada this is a market a lot more expensive than you guys in the states about 875 like every other one you got you got the rail put the light the grenade the grenade launcher anything you want soon there will be another video i order a kydex ulster I will show you the uh, do a little review on the Kydex, cool company in Toronto. Also, here I forgot you will see the trigger. Little little play, boom. Very nice trigger also, folks. I hope you like this video. Do not hesitate to comment. Write back. If you need something else, if you want to show something else, I will do a lot of stuff also on rifle. I'm a bit more enthusiastic. It's easier to carry your rifle. It's better viewed than handgun. Uh, to be honest, in Quebec, there's not many guys that put his face and show this on the handgun. But this is the reason why I put it in English. Thank you very much for watching, liking, sharing. See you soon, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. I just don't care. Go get a bag Or maybe I'll just let her go Drink a little drink, smoke a little smoke Yeah